what ha- was it? Happy Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, Ladybug's back. Ladybug. What's up, Matt? What's up, Matt? calls it a um, Poshmark soup and sepia. That's what I'll call it. Okay. Doesn't seem like me. <laughs> hmm. I mean, it's pretty freaking unique. So. Look at this pattern. A little different. Is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So that's our, like kind of like ours, but like this one, it's weird if that thing ends there. Unless they just didn't sample out the, they were just like maximizing fabric. Anna. Mm-hmm. Fashion. Fashion. So far, Hundo, I'm going to list it just like this. Okay. It's an Amazon special. Yeah. That's all for a hundred. Yeah. Because it was a lot more than that on Amazon. Just because it's an Amazon special doesn't mean it's not not decent. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> my friends, I'm in my pajamas. Pajama day. I have not shipped to Germany recently. I'm supposed to turn it off, but I haven't. Have you? I need to go turn it off. I've not done that yet. Hi, Celeste. Amanda's back. Mm, Chrissy's at the Idaho-Utah border. Cool. Pajama mama. Pajama mama. I just didn't feel like getting dressed today. Actually, I did get dressed. Uh-oh. It's because I put that there. No, it's because I pulled a record. Hey Meg, how you doing? You done broke it. Why'd you break it? No, you you, you broke it. Do you need it right now? No. Is your phone going to mm, We'll find out. Oh Lord. <laughs> I'm going to start calling you Amanda. Hey. I said you done messed up. Hello from Washington. Hi, Jen. I'm having a real hard time seeing it. Okay. We're doing coats. We are listing coats today. Oh, it's Jen's first time catching a live. Hey, welcome, Jen. Welcome. I hope it's worth it. (laughs) Cynthia, we're happy to have you. Um, We are listing more of our bin stuff. And then maybe tomorrow, probably, we will film, maybe Thursday, I don't know, we'll film a Bins Hall Part 2. So we finally got all of the items <coughs> processed, and it ended up being $0.93 cents an item. And we had some really heavy fabric in there. And some of the things we got are absolute bangers. Like, we didn't know we got bangers. Those are the best kind of bangers. The sneaker bangers. Sneaker bangers. <laughs> oh, man. When you look them up, you're like, oh, so we got all this fabric, and I thought it was really high-quality men's suiting fabric. I was like, man, we have to get this fabric. Like, comb all the bins, get all this fabric. Yeah. And yeah. he was, like, totally on board. He was like, okay, cool. I was like, this is high-quality. I don't know what it is, but it's high-quality. Get it all. Even though we were at the bins and it was heavy. Yeah. I thought it was suiting, like military suiting. Yeah. Like. So we have, like, eight of those. <laughs> eight sacks like that. And each stack weighs about four pounds. So at the bins, you're getting kind of up there. But we got it home, and one, it had some branding on it, and one of them, and Dan finally looked it up once we were processing. Yeah. <laughs> it's pool table fabric. Yeah, pool table cover. From, it's worth a lot. Yep. Yes. Like $250 each. Yes. A lot. So we were a little like, ooh, we're paying about $10 for this fabric. No, we're good. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. It's just fine. <laughs> just fine. 
Oh, Kerlin said he contacted eBay and they have no idea about the changes <laughs> going to Germany. Well, they sent out a newsletter about it, so... <laughs> It is felt, but it feels, you wouldn't know it was felt. It's mostly wool. It's wool, right? Yeah. But like a pool, pool table is felt, it's a felt wool. Yeah. Um, But it feels like men's suiting. Like I just made a men's suit for a production and it cost $500 for the fabric to make this men's uh, powder blue airman's Nazi uniform. So I was like, I know this material. And it was 80% wool as well. Yeah. And it was $500. For six yards of it so i knew it was good fabric i was like get all the fabric <laughs> and uh yeah so we've got like eight pool tables worth uh -huh. oh the germany thing if you read the fine line affects large companies okay James Carlin's asking what's the, the consequences if he does it anyway. 50 years in a German clink, says Matt. <laughs> right. 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 We right. Haul, oh, I need to get We haven't hauled either of these two yet. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Perfect. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Nobody cares. Can All you right. turn on computer? Yes. You want me to turn on your little screen now? Is that okay? Little screen. To make, so there, okay, you can see her. There she is. She's actually here. <laughs> All right. They're all used. All right, so I'm going to use a Poshmark listing. This, this coat has the tag cut out of it. But it is a cool coat. We got it at the bin, so we're just gonna we're just gonna go for it. You know, Google image it or whatever, and it'll be fine. It'll, it'll be, be fine. just fine. Watch out! We're on vacation. Uh, we, we came back yesterday night, last night. Yeah, we were Yesterday just out of... night. God, I'm from Virginia. <laughs> we were just out of town for the weekend. We just over the weekend. We can't afford to stay in New York longer than that. They kicked us out. Man, that is expensive. <laughs> God, New York. Oh. Well, especially when we missed our flight there and coming home. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't miss it. We I wouldn't say I've we... been missing it, Bob. <laughs> we probably, we definitely would have missed the flight out because of traffic. Definitely. So I found out on the American app now you could do a same day flight change for seventy five bucks a ticket, and so then our flight out was like at seven a.m. and we were both like, "I need seventy five dollars a ticket. Let's just move it." <laughs> so we did. And we had breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> we spent more money. <laughs> yes. Yes, we did. It worked for me. I'm the potentially having the battery issues. Just need to. Why? I'll have to, I'll no. have to plug it up here or something. No, I have. You can just here. Is there another? No, I wait. No, wait, what are you saying? No, hold on. Wait, I can do this. I'm a ninja. <laughs> I'm a power ninja. <laughs> also, we have 14 battery packs. Right. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Perfect. Do 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 do. Don't pull my computer off the thing. I, it's it's already done. Has been pulled off. All right, what's happening? Hey, mama! My mom is here. Hey, Tunes. Taco Tuesday. Tommy's still sending it to Germany. He didn't care. Right. <coughs> Send it. We saw. Thanks for asking, Meg. This is like my favorite question. It was a tough race, but we ended up seeing Hades Town, which we had not seen oh, yet. Oh, that was so good. It was so good. And then we saw Into the Woods. That was so good, too. Yeah, that's what we did. We saw three socks. And then you can go to your Instagram and. 
Colonel Clint calls me, I'll tell him I know Dan. They don't want to know what he does all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the inner nail jacket. Duh. Duh. Inner nail. Inner nail. See, y'all, you got to get research in all the places. I'm all up on Instagram right nice. now. Nice. Yeah. Seriously. It's the what now? Blue jacket? Inner. Inner nail. Fashion. Inner nail. It says fashion on the tag. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So you know it's quality. <clears throat> Keep my search. All right, we're just going to make our own listing for this since I know what it is. I'm not going to take the stock photo of the small business. I'm not going to do it. Yes, Anais Mitchell and Rachel Hawk was the scenic designer, which was clearly an amazing part of the show. Oh, for Hades Town? Yes. Yeah. And then we also saw Into the Woods with the most stacked Broadway cast that I have ever seen on one stage in my life, except for like the Tonys or something. The show was okay. The performances were amazing. That's what I will say, in my opinion. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. Not mad I saw it at all. No. I just, I would have chosen to do things differently. But I understand why. I get it. I get it. I get it. Still happy to see it. Happy to see any Broadway show, actually. Like, always. In it. In it, Dale. <laughs> That's calling it In it, Dale. <laughs> <In it. laughs> Do we know what size this is? No. Okay, so I'm going to go on their Insta. Where's their website? How do you Insta? People loving this coat. LinkedIn profile. Suk and Sepia is better than Zara. Okay, okay. But like, where does code at? Right. No, they brought on an orchestra. That's amazing. Okay, we're gonna see if they have a size chart. Si order a size up. Okay. No, I don't want you sending notifications. <clears throat> Garments usually run small, i.e. they are from another country. We recommend ordering a size up. That's all your size chart is? Bruh. Bruh. Seriously. Oh, size chart. Here we go. Okay, what's the inches of the chest? 42. Is it? 44.8 is the extra small. I run small. Okay, I mean, what's the sleeve? Twenty-seven. No, just like the sleeve. Just the sleeve. Yeah. Seventeen. Point six. I mean, sure. So I think it's extra small. <laughs> I do. Okay. So when any size <clears throat> tag, so like every identifying factor has been removed from this coat. The brand tag, the size tag, all of the tags are gone. And when that happens, this leads me to believe that this was probably in some sort of TV show or a movie. Once you get in a certain tier of TV, you have to take the tags out. <coughs> I am not in that tier. <laughs> I keep my tags and resell my stuff. <clears throat> but you do. And that's what's leading. I mean, every tag is out of this thing. There's no other reason for it. It's not like I know that tags irritate people, but in a coat, normally you're wearing other clothes. I mean, normally, I don't want to go judging people. You do yeah. what you want to. What? I mean, they just took it out, like at the very. That to me, that says film or TV. They don't want to be embarrassed by the coat guy at the five-star restaurant. That is true. It does say. Fashion in fashion. the inside of it, but even the material tag on the, the little <laughs> tag on the lower part of it is taken out, and that just that just makes me wonder. Outer shell material, polyester probably. I guess I can oh, look yeah. on this uh this website. Yeah, you found the website, right? On the website. Hmm. Totally found the website. Is it going to tell us? No. Of course not. 
you know this is cheap because look at everybody's <laughs> pattern they all end at a different place like this girl's pattern ends here <laughs> this girl's pattern ends here that means you're trying to save fabric this came from china it absolutely did it came yeah. from china yes it is polyester it's fine though the style is going to sell this thing yep. it's worth a hundo dollars they can't buy it they already so this brand already restocked this coat and it's out again really? so there is a demand for it okay what's Ben's, up south Ben's coat Ben's coat Mm -mm, mm -mm. This is gonna need a, <clears throat> yeah, a larger. All, this, all of this stuff is. Mm -hmm. You have to climb on up there and get you some boxes. Uh -uh. Well, I'm gonna, I think, <clears throat> yeah, I don't even know if that'll go into a medium flat rate. Blue, orange, abstract, women size extra small. I hope you guys are getting some work done today. We're kind of back in the groove a little bit. <coughs> I worked all day on reselling, trying to get us going again. Hey, Melissa. Dan, what did you think of Terminal 5? Which floor were you on? <clears throat> uh, I thought the venue was cool. Yeah. There might be a 9.30 club, actually. We were on the second floor. Second floor. Stage right. Stage right. House left. Second floor. This one. We had a really good view. Good times. Good times. Yes. And we had seats. We had chairs, which was like... Oh, I mean, I was like trying to climb over the railing the whole time. Yeah, she was. She really was. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. All right. We'll send you some pictures. Okay. And then I have to go get some boxes, right? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you need. What's the number? 4640. I'm going to price this baby up because we know they're out of stock. Look, I'm right here on the website. Yep. So what was our revised cost of goods for this stuff? Do you really want to know? 70 cents. 70 cents. Look I can't. Look on my notebook over there. I think it's 70 cents. I, that's ridiculous. Can you look on my notebook? Yep. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. <clears throat> Crazy, I tell you. I wonder if I can. Hmm. I, have an, I have an idea. All tags are missing, but measurements indicate a size extra small. Should I try to like get this size cut off or what? I'm gonna do it. Hmm? I'm gonna screenshot this size chart. I did. Oh, oh look. There you go. I didn't know you had that in here. Nice. So we decided to focus on the coats today. Try to get them out the door. You know. We found some good ones. So. We found some good coats. A lot of people at Arbins are not buying coats, I think, because of the weight. Mm -hmm. And we like, I. You know. A couple of coats, good to have to push you over to the. Push you over the weight threshold. Oh, yeah. Our bins, price. I don't know if everybody's bins is like this, but if you get over 25 pounds, it goes, you know, by, by weight, it goes down in price. It goes down so, like a dollar nine or something, a pound or something. I thought it was 120. And 
Isn't it 149 the starting? I don't know. There's a sign so far away. Yeah. I can't see it. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> and that's going to go priority or no, should go local. Should go local. All right. Are we ready to list it? Yeah, man. Christy, Melissa, Amanda. I listed six things, cross posted six things, and did eight more drafts this morning. There you go. Nice work. I know. It's amazing. I had a feeling about this one when I when I picked it up. Did I make a draft? I think you did. Okay. <clears throat> I had a feeling. It turned out it was a good one. I drafted like 50 things today. And I relisted and cross-listed 22 things. And I listed three things. So I'm having a pretty good reselling day. Did I do anything else in my house? Yep. I went and got blood work then, but that's it. I did get dressed for that. And then I got directly into pajamas <laughs> for the rest. That's the thing. If you're working from home, you should be comfortable, right? Totally. I'm like, I'm just going to work in my pajamas. I had a little dress on from when I went to get my blood work. And as soon as I came home, I was like, mm-mm. It's like, no work nope. So I work from home. Hey, Amy, how are you? I just saw, before we started, I just saw your um, comment on YouTube about us learning from the nail polish. I've actually <laughs> learned the lesson before, but like, I forgot it. I forgot to go back and change everything, and I still haven't changed everything. So if we get a moment, I'm going to go do that. Um, but we did make $2. We didn't lose money. <laughs> Give me my $2. <laughs> So bad. I need to just stay away from flammables. All right, what is the uh, drafts? What's this called? A, a, a uh, Zaro. Uh, Z R O men's. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna uh, adapt this one. You are too hard on yourself. Oh, you sound like my therapist. <laughs> <laughs> no joke. Okay. Men's what size? Okay, great. Okay. I'll nice. try to find. I'll That's find cool. out. Cool. <laughs> not a navy belt, devil bushy trench coat. It is not. Um, it is a navy. It is black. It's it black. Is black. Black. Is this a parka? Mm -hmm. I think maybe a parka. It might be a parka. It's a parka. What is a parka? Oh, I think it's not long enough to be a parka. It's got, this, it's got a removable extra collar and that cool clasp up at the top there oh well these are kind of longer parkas what's a parker i mean a parka <coughs> the difference between parkas and jackets here we go let's all learn everybody everybody let's get, do it we're all learning parka is a kind of long coat that comes well insulated with a hood lined with fur okay, okay. nope we don't have a hood don't have a hood lined with fur you will find four different okay so a parka has have a hood okay What's an anorak? I think an anorak has a waist. Okay, it's not a parka. Okay. An anorak has a waist, right? I think so, yes. This doesn't have a waist. No. A waterproof jacket typically with a hood. Well, it sounds just like a parka. Gosh. Okay, we're just going to call this a jacket. Yes. Men size something, black jacket coat, <coughs> metal toggle, 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 love a toggle, pockets, patch pockets, flat pockets, flap pockets. It's got these and it's got these. And that's like a velvet collar. It's, no, it's corduroy. Oh, corduroy. Collar. Removable collar. So it's yeah. removable. Maybe I can. Oh. I got a... Toggle. Pockets. Removable. Collar. Hurry, shopping on Macari! Oh my god, I know. I didn't do it on Macari this time. How do I go back and change them all, Christy? Like, there's no bulk tool. Maybe there is. Is there? I'm not going through each listing. That's just not, not gonna, not gonna. <laughs> no, I'm saying, no, I'm saying. What size is that? I don't know. Oh, gosh. Oh, I have jacket in there twice. 
I don't know. No. James says, eBay switched me to the new listing page today. Still not a fan, but I did get 190 items listed so far as I try to get used to it. Yeah, Amy hated the new listing tool at first, too. I hated it. Y'all remember I had like a meltdown over it? It was through the computer live on the internet. But now that I use it, it's, it doesn't bother me at all. I just, it took maybe two days. One day of pure panic. Oh, my God. You hated it. <laughs> and then it was a new viewer, and she was just like, could you use the new listing tool? Because that's where I'm on. And I was like, hmm. Okay. <laughs> but it gave me the impetus to start it, you know? And so I did it, and it was better. Okay, seriously, there's no size on this? Seriously. What do we say about buying things with no size? We keep doing it, y'all. We keep doing it. I don't know. We've gotten better about shoes, but clothes. Yeah, but not like in a, that little like, pocket or anything? Not in that little pocket or anywhere, no. Okay, I'm going to look at the size chart. So the second thing in a row we've listed with no size. Maybe that's why people throw it back. <laughs> They're better than us. Or but they I mean, how to do it, with a men's jacket, you can like kind of standardize it and just call it a whatever, you know, like a forty-four or forty-six. You know what I mean? A Zaro's shirt. Yeah, yeah. Maybe just fine. A Zaro is like a um, fragrance destination. Is it? Mm -hmm. What do you know? <clears throat> Says jacket coat jacket. I saw that. Jacket coat jacket. I am just I'm a mess. <laughs> I'm trying not to be no, they're being very no helpful. Mess. So helpful. Where's JB? Right, we have an unofficial copy editor. Thank you so much. Love it. Appreciate it. Where is JB? Okay, you're going to have to just standardize it for me. Not a problem. Okay. What's the number? Uh, 4641. You guys see me listing on here every single night. You can do it. <clears throat> Outer shell material, what do you think? Nylon? Probably. Sounds like it. Sounds like it. Black. It's nice, though. Nice. Nice nylon. Nice nylon. <laughs> I'll put that. It's not belted. It's not a belt. Features. Toggle. Everybody loves a toggle. Performance. Walking. <laughs> Activity. Walking. <clears throat> oh my god we were walking to the goodwill in manhattan we walked all the way to the goodwill and oh, it was just shut down for the fur <laughs> oh i'm so mad it wasn't just closed that day it was closed permanently they're like nah we're done here come visit our other location <laughs> and there was still piles of donations out front and people were going through it was so new york i was like yes like, don't lie you kind of wanted to go through it don't lie i'm not i just said that i wanted to go through it Anyway, we were just walking, like not briskly or anything. We were just walking. And both of our watchers were like, <laughs> are you working out? <laughs> you want to record this walking workout? We're like, oh. Oh, my God. We walked so little because <laughs> we're in Texas. It was like, oh, my God. Our watches were flipping out. Holy moly, Apple Universe, they're walking. <laughs> <laughs> We've got movement. We've got movement. What is going on? It's frozen. I can't. Uh, my face having an issue. Oh no! Oh no! 
I'm gonna go to tie things. Book size. So <clears throat> chest measure is 44. Would you call that? I think in jackets probably. 42. Yeah, I call it 42. So that's a large. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll call it large. <clears throat> Data round fifteen, or can we do shoot level? Definitely your shoes because I got it in here. Uh, thank you, WW Dot. Who's WW Dot? Hi. <coughs> size. I left a space for it. Size large. Thank you. Oh, I'm the whole thing. Large. 42. There we go. Thank you very much. My biggest issue is there is no drop down to get to my draft template, so it takes extra time. I sent that feedback a few times weeks ago, and I did it again today like three times. Yes, I have to go all the way over to the side to get the draft. It makes me nuts. I applaud you for sending that in because I never have, and it does drive me crazy. It also drives me crazy in case you haven't heard me complain about it. <laughs> Excuse me. Nah. Many times. There's no create listing button. Why isn't it at the top of the page in a big block? Why can't I just click it to create my listing? I got to go to my seller hub. Then I got to go to listing. Then I got to go to create listing. And I'm like, do you want me to list things? Because I'm getting the feeling that you maybe don't. Okay, what did you say? Shoes local? Suit box? Yeah. Okay. All right, two coats down. Right. One midnight gone. <clears throat> One midnight gone. We just saw it, yes. <laughs> It's, it's coming back to me. <laughs> no coming back. Oh, God. I'm never still eating on. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I don't know the words. No, uh, she's a no. I can't remember the words. I know there's flashes of light. No. List it as is. As is. Perfect. We don't claim things. No, we do actually Sometimes. claim way too many things. I'm sorry, you guys, for that horrible Celine Dion. You're not sorry. He said, it's all coming back to me. I mean, <laughs> what's a girl to do? <laughs> so you're hanging it on the weak spot, you know? I'm, I'm, we probably yeah. should tape down that scene, too. We need to. I told you we needed to retape. No, no, there's no tape on the middle scene. On the back, because that's how it folds. Yeah, but it could fold on tape. You fold it, tape it, and then it... Yeah, yeah we, never, we never did that. Yeah, and I, I, was, com I was commenting on such. <laughs> right. Well, okay. As we do every day. We'll just get it through this one. It's yeah, fine. It's fine. It's, it's, totally, it's fine. It's all good. This thing is kind of gnarly. What do you mean? That's, you know. It's like rust from the buttons and stuff, man. Just take a picture of it. It's good. Who wants a vintage jacket that's like crisp Clean. and nice? Yeah, nobody. nobody. That's what I think. That song is a banger. <laughs> <laughs> Matt is singing. <laughs> You right. sing it in that tone. <laughs> she gets like all growly in it. I'm telling you. And then that that note, you know, at the end, it's like boom. Yeah. She gets it. Gets it. I told you that time we were at thrift store and everybody was singing Celine Dion. I've never had a happier thrift experience. <laughs> Collectively, everyone in the store was singing. It was like we were in Greece and we didn't know it. <laughs> telling, highly recommend if you're ever feeling bad, just put on some Celine. In your ear pod, my ear pods. You don't even, you don't know that you miss it, but you do. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any new drama in the reselling world? Well, Poshmark just got sold to the Koreans. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit of drama. I'm, I'm less moved by it, but some people are moved by it. The thing I am moved by, not that anyone's asking. I guess you asked, Amanda. Uh, is that they didn't announce it at Posh Fest, which ended Sunday, and instead and chose to announce 
to an over a billion dollar sale on Monday. Right. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know they knew about that on Sunday. It wasn't just like Posh Fest is over and then Monday morning some South Korean <laughs> company decides to reach out and offer Manish $1.2 billion. Right. <laughs> like, I don't know. That's just not how, they, how any of this works. <laughs> that happens. <laughs> and so apparently the the Korean company that bought it is like the internet in Korea. It's like a really, really gigantic company. Yeah. And they're promising big, better, faster, stronger situations. All so, the, of the Daft Punk. They're going to yeah, Daft Punk it. It might be good. Uh, <laughs> also... There was another Poshmark thing. Oh, they rolled back the algorithm to the 2020 algorithm. Whether they actually did that or not, I don't know. Because who knows? How would any of us know? Who would know? But they said they were going to do that. I think maybe they were just saying that to be like, don't hate us for what's coming tomorrow. <laughs> right. <laughs> don't hate us. Does anybody know how to properly date a Levi's jean jacket? Oh, I bet someone on here does. Hi, Megan. That's why I'm asking Oh my gosh, she sold Eskandar pants yesterday. What? Yes, mama. Yes. Yeah. Oh, because they, Naver, Naver, is that how yeah. you say this? Is a search engine and really big on social media and stuff is that the bots might be going away. Yeah. But maybe sharing's going away. Eh, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, Tommy is offering his services to you. Excellent. He's asking where it's made. It's made in the it's USA. It's made in the USA. Size large, right? It is a size medium. Size medium. The, the tag on the back says Levi's Authentic. And it's got a bunch of like Western sporting doohickeys on it. Here, let me let me bring it on in here real quick. red tab it's not orange right it's red yeah it looks like that <clears throat> and then on this this tag it's got a number on that yeah that, that's not coming through but i can read that out if you need it So this is a cotton denim trucker jacket Sherpa line. Is that what we think it is? I don't think it is. Okay. I would probably put 80s or 90s, says Krillin. I might not put anything. You think that's terrible? I might just say vintage. The tab on the front of the jacket is, is missing, though. Is that terrible? Yeah, it'll be okay. Again, movie. You think? I do. All of the stuff that we got, it's like outerwear, all of the tags are cut off. Well, the tag on the inside. Is I weird. understand that, but you can't you can't face or okay. black out yeah. a Levi's. Yeah. What, you have a big piece of gap on your <laughs> shirt? So who would cut off that other yeah. than people in a movie? I bet this is a wardrobe. I bet you we got a wardrobe. Just put sharp... A line denim Levi's and it will sell really well. Sharp A line. Oh, sharp lined. Sherpa. Sherpa I got line. it. Sherpa. <laughs> <laughs> trying to read what Curl is trying to write. Are you talking? <laughs> <laughs> right here. I can't. Tommy has disappeared, so he's probably researching it. I list at 179. Boom. Boom. All right. Is it polyester Sherpa? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Midling. Probably though. Classic. Classic. Definitely classic. This, thing in, this was gnarly on the inside. This is the third one that's come off like this. I bet you some actor had like a wig on. <laughs> it's things you don't think about till you right. work that job. And then all of the storytelling comes into play. One sold in July. Oh, what'd they put? Yeah, it's polyester. Okay, cool. Are you rested from your trip? Hi, Jill. We're rested? not. What's that? <laughs> we always go on trips where we don't relax. I yeah. Don't, I don't know what that's about. Uh, note. Levi's tag is missing. Is is removed. The tab on the front. Tab. 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 That's tab. what I put. Tab. 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 <laughs> tab is removed. 
just tab it in. Just tab it in. Take tab it in. Vintage Levi Sherpa lined white denim jacket, men's size large. I think that's what we sold similar from. Look at this one. Vintage Levi's. I put the thing first, obviously. Men's cotton denim, Sherpa lined white denim jacket. Okay, I'm going to put Sherpa lined first. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sherpa lined white cotton, uh, white denim cotton trucker jacket made in USA. Cool, cool, cool. What's the number? 4642. Um, I stayed in my pajamas today and just got like a bunch of bin stuff drafted and processed and I do feel better. I didn't get my house clean, but that's always a pipe dream, isn't it? In it. In it. A size medium. So I do feel a little bit better. Do you feel better? Yeah. When we got home, our house had exploded. <laughs> our office was even worse. It's like insane. It's not going to be a tough sell. I'll talk to you six months from now. Yeah, this was just sitting in the bins. So people at our bins, for some reason, okay, they're definitely rip stains and tears. Absolutely. <laughs> it has like, all of it has rips tears and stains good free owned vintage condition there are many spots of vintage patina boom perfect some, some words light thrashing light thrashing on <laughs> the sleeves <laughs> Some small ish rust spots and what? Some tears? Are there tears? Uh, probably. Some small wear spots. Yeah, there you go. Call it wear spot. It's huge for a medium. I'll part. add to the vintage charm <clears throat> of okay, this worn yeah. in piece, huh? I'm just talking to myself. I'm like, this thing is very large for a medium, but I was like, it's lined and it's really thick, so yeah. it, ha it has to be. What's up, Paul? We have some vintage Levi's over here. We have no idea what we're doing, so I'm just telling a story in the condition description box. We'll sell it. Yeah. 179. That's what Tommy said. Wait, is that what it sold for? Because you know I got priced it up. 199. <laughs> we got all the coupons. Dang, Paul's ruthless. <laughs> Savage. Now what? Matt, you're not in the show again. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. <sighs> Paul, you trying to move to Florida, but Florida's not, not doing so good. I'm worried about you. I'm worried about this move. <clears throat> Amy kicked me out. You can come on. We'll be like three's company. Come and knock on a door. That'd be me. I'd be Chrissy, though, for sure. <laughs> I'm not a Janet. Is that a Janet? Maybe I'm a Janet. I don't know. I don't know. All right, is this going to go shoes local, you think? Probably. Probably. All right. You should be good for another 70 years. Nah, B, you got to be like, oh, it already hit it again. Okay. You going to the aftermath? <laughs> The next episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. Make sure I got all these details right. Hey, yay, yay, yay. Hey, that was wicked perfect time. I don't even know if you guys were counting, but like, <laughs> my brain was like, I like nailed it. <laughs> If any housing prices are cheaper now, you can get a house and assemble it yourself. Here is the pieces on the ground. Put it together. That's what would happen too. I'm 
I'm so far behind on my work. <coughs> I am behind. Okay, I need a. <clears throat> uh, yeah. <laughs> I almost bought this shed that was like an IKEA shed. It was like this shed company. They send everything on a pallet, and they have a YouTube video on how to put it together. I watched the whole YouTube video. <laughs> I did not almost buy it because it was six thousand dollars, but I wanted to almost buy it. Oh no, his house flooded and then it burned down and lost what? everything. Oh, no. No insurance because they live too close to the beach. That is such a tough hand of cards. Wow, I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh. <laughs> Megan's calling you out. I told you. I told you. Megan said, Dan, how are you? You weren't happy to be filming last night. <laughs> <laughs> Way too tired. <laughs> I thought it right before we started filming. I'm like, you need to buckle up, buttercup. <laughs> he was like, I'll be good. He's not good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he was not good. He didn't want anything to do with it. But we had to film. Because we had such good bolos to tell you guys. I didn't want to just ship them and not let you know about them. Yeah, There's some really good ones. That's a good box. This is not going to work. What box is that? that was I've never a, seen that. That's a regional B. I've never seen that configuration. Well, not that I remember. Yeah. Oh my God, KJ's like, he was so annoying. <laughs> 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 he said no one will notice. I was like, everyone's going to notice. <laughs> Ooh, I was like dragging him on my back through the video. <laughs> Come on, guy. It's funny. They noticed. It's funny. <laughs> Jill said, "Way obvious." Dan wanted to be anywhere else. <laughs> and that's how I could tell he was Grumpy Girls. <laughs> Grumpy Girls in last night's video. I did not. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> the fact that he was like, "No, we don't." It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> he was so pissy. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Literally warned him right before. Stop being so pissy. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I bought this stupid spider jacket who gives a crap. <laughs> oh my God. No, that was today's video. We didn't talk about the spider jacket. That was when we were about to miss our flight. That was fun. That was fun. Oh, day. That was fun. That was fun. <clears throat> We're, we're right, rushing through. We're like, go, go, go. Go, biz, all go. Jill said, you can't fool us, Dan. We see you an average of three nights a week. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You basically live here. Y'all are like tenants. You need to pay rent. Dang. Oh, man. If you join our Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> jokes. I got jokes. Oh, right. jokes. We have a draft for this, I think. We're trying to get a lot done. We're practicing drafting first and seeing if that helps us go faster. The next step is for me to start measuring things ahead of time. Good. The decliner offer overalls person. Get out of here. Um, spider. Nine dollars. Spider jacket, major core, full zip, gray cable knit. It's not gray, but that's the cable knit, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Megan said, seriously, though, are you feeling better? I actually care about you, unlike <laughs> the rest of these jumps. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm feeling much better. Thank you. He's always, I always accuse him of like, his emotions are so transparent. And so I'm always like, what's wrong with you? He's like, nothing, God. And I'm like, no, something is definitely wrong with you because you can see it. Like he emotes so clearly. It's all like, nothing's wrong. Why do you keep asking me that? I'm like, because something's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Cable knit. Is it a large? I think so, yeah. Sweater. Sweater. Oh, maybe they call it a jacket. Cable knit jacket? Yeah. Jacket. Amanda says it's the exact same way. Paul said, haven't worn the word chumps in like 13 years. <laughs> and then Matt said, hey, this chump cares. <laughs> chumps is the word of the night. I love it. 
What was my dad's internet password for the longest time? <laughs> Chump. <laughs> I was like, Dad, you need more than uh, five characters. <laughs> We're going to have to work on this. <laughs> no longer has internet password. That's, Don't worry. That's funny. Made him change everything. It is now Chump12345. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, knowing my dad, it's like Chump8675309. Nobody will think of that. <laughs> You're like, oh, God. <clears throat> <clears throat> Eileen Fisher, Linen Blazer. I would price it at 80 and hope to get between 60 and 70. Unless it's like a long line blazer. You know what I mean? Like goes past the hits, then I would price it higher because those are on trend right now. Do you know how much Eileen Fisher? Matt said it at the same time. Trump one, two, three. <laughs> um, <laughs> how much Eileen Fisher we saw on the ladies in New York, just walking down the street. We were like, sold that coat, sold those pants, sold that shirt. Oh, there are the pants again. Mm -hmm. Everyone wears Eileen Fisher pull-on pants. Every single person, you know, of that age and of that, I don't know, persuasion. Yeah, I knew that's what you were going to say. Really? I don't know how to say. What do you say? That's exactly what you say. And, um, <clears throat> and then we found an Oscar store, which was like, crazy cool for us yeah it's a brand that i've never heard anyone else sell and we took a picture in front of it and we went inside and they have like exactly one of everything it's like this, the smallest store you've ever been. Boutique ever. you know what the boutique was like smaller than our closets yeah it was new york <laughs> megan says it's not that just at the waist yeah i would i would hope to get between 70 65 to 75, but I would price it at 80. I think a lot of people, Melissa, price their Eileen Fisher way too low. Like, as far as outerwear goes and blazers, outerwear, I price it at 100, blazers at 80, pants at 60. This is all pre owned, is what I'm saying. <clears throat> and normally I get about $10 below that consistently. Like, I've done it for, like, six months now, and that's when it comes in. No matter, I don't look at comps for Eileen Fisher anymore. I sell similar, but I don't pay attention to the price because I think people underprice it. Because the people buying Eileen Fisher normally go to Nordstrom or Neiman's or Eileen Fisher store, and they know how much it costs. So when you they see a pair of pants for 60 that they have to pay 200 for, they're like, oh. Thank you. Also, those same people are like, oh, the $60 ones are probably nicer, and they buy mine. Also true. It's, it's all psychology, you yep. know what I mean? Oh, these are 60 I'll, I'll just pay the extra $10 because these are probably nicer. That clientele isn't looking for the best deal, in my opinion. That's what we found. They're looking for the best. And they're looking for someone that has a lot of it, and they can come back to their closet or store. We get so many repeat buyers of Eileen Fisher, so that's good. We're just learning about this demographic because we don't know. What do we know. Is it a large for sure? Yeah. Okay, what's the number? 4643. <laughs> I only go to Walmart and I swear all the people of Walmart are in my store. We used to think like that, Amanda, and we finally stopped doing that. Oh, I'm the same way, Matt. At the um, airport, everyone was wearing on clouds again. Everyone. Were you looking at people's shoes? Yeah. Were they wearing on? Did you see anything other than on clouds? But I didn't. <laughs> Not really. No. I'm currently listed a vintage Halloween turtleneck, and it's made in Lesotho. I don't even know what that is. Where is that? Is it an island? I don't know where that is either. I know a lot of geography, too. I don't know where that. Do you sign that in her nostril stay flared? <laughs> we always sent my dad in to find out what was wrong. No one wanted where to start yet. <laughs> Once in his life. He's <laughs> on here. <laughs> Amanda, you've never been in an airport? It's where you find the best fashions. Get yourself to an airport, even if you just sit at the check in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Docs are super popular on campus right now. You're right about that. Size large, black. It does help to have these drops to converse with you guys. It does. Nothing wrong with it? No. What happened there? Let's 
Oh, no, the numbers. 46, 42 is for this guy. Oh, okay. <coughs> no box yet. Okay. Does that need to go shoes local? Oh, yeah. No, I could probably get it into a flat rate. Well, how heavy is it? Is it less than two pounds? I need to know that. Without? For, yeah. For, for sure. international? Okay. For sure. Oof, 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 oof. Oof, oof, oof. <laughs> Little bunny foo foos. Oof, foo foos. I did it. Are great. And new bounds. It's a lot of dad shoes. Yeah, Olakai does really well for us. <clears throat> Boom. Jacket listed. Come on. Pictures? Come on. <clears throat> those pants. Those are wintry tees. What these? Yeah. Perfect for flat lighting. Yeah. They will rinse like yeah. <clears throat> these are like those mos mosquito pants. Yeah. Super long. Missoni. I mean Missoni. Yeah, Missoni. You guys, I did seven of the eight tasks on my eBay today. I've been putting it off for like, I don't know, a year. <coughs> I put a banner. It looks like crap, don't worry, but I did it. <laughs> I did it. Yes. And then I put like little graphics for the categories and I featured categories. I did all this like little stuff that's been in floating around rent free in my head. I was pretty happy to get that done. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Urban Outfitters. Third extra small? Okay. <clears throat> Green, striped high waisted new. High waisted. Okay. I'm going to go with that. <coughs> Your size large. Size large. Large. Let's fix this stuff down here. See, having the draft is everything. It's really, really helpful. Super <coughs> long. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Me? A shortcut for this, but I can't remember what it was. The Koreans are treating me right on posh. Let's go. They are not in charge yet, I don't think, Tommy. But the algorithm pushback might be treating you right because it's actually like searching for words that you're using. Mm -hmm. Literally, they put the al algorithm back to 2020, which was SEO. Mm. Mm. <laughs> the people that had like yellow shirt were coming up in search higher than the people that were like Zara, Zephyrnella, yellow shirt, size extra small. Those who were not coming up in shirt in search, it was yellow shirt. <laughs> that's terrible. I know. No, it's not. It's better, guys. And they kept saying to people, "No, no, no promise is better." They kept having to make statements on promise is better. And we're like, it's not SEO. It's not even coming up on Google. Like, what are you doing? 
So we just kind of wrote, wrote Paul Shaw because I was not changing my titles. It was not going to happen. Just like, well, bye, Posh. In, uh, waist? Super stretchy. Yeah. I mean, it starts at 30. Okay. And let me know if the inseam is not 35. Okay. Yeah, there's super high rise, too. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go up here and like type in all of these things since I have a little extra time where it says theme. You can add as many of these as you want. Well, I've never gotten to the limit. So I'm going to add like athleisure. I'm going to add 30. loud. 35. I'm going to add tall. I'm going to add flare. I'm going to add knit. Comfy. Um, Bohemian's already in here. I'll add boho. I'm just doing this because I have time, you know? If y'all are just, like, on the phone or something while you're listening, just, like, add in a bunch of these extras and see what happens. And if I can't think of any, I just scroll here. I'm, I'm only saying this because somebody asked me about keywords the other day. <coughs> Horse. Peasant. Peasant is a keyword they have put in here. <laughs> Jesus. That was wrong. Oh, you and your peasant clothes. <laughs> Tortoise. <laughs> I guess that's ugly sweater. Dang. Savage. Okay. I know. I'll put one place instead. There is so much keyword stuff in the posh, nothing will ever be right. Um, yeah, like a real search internet. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just talking about the title. I'm not talking about the description. I know that people like spam the description. I'm talking about the title. Like they put it back to like basics. <laughs> it was the worst. You couldn't find anything. Like when you were trying to comp on posh, you couldn't. So I can only comp on eBay. Because nothing would come up. You type in exactly what it was and nothing would come up. Nothing. Like, even if you put <coughs> a Zara yellow shirt, it would not come up. But you would get, like, a Talbot's yellow shirt. You might get just a yellow shirt, yellow shirt. <laughs> it was horrible. What's the number? Now they just have to make it better. You know, it's interesting about like search because to me, search is, I don't want to get into it too much because I talk about it all the time. It's like a broken record. But search as the internet was invented is, and basically as search engines were invented is SEO. Like if you, you don't have to deviate from it. It's a standard language. So when these platforms try to deviate from a standard established language that's been around for, I don't know, at least 22 years that I can think of, you know, like why? We've already established that this is the norm. What are you doing? We all search this way. We all type in search this way when we Google ourselves. I'm not just Googling yellow top and hoping the specific one I want comes up. I'm not doing that because that's not how you search. <laughs> that's not how this works. No. Especially those of us that were alive, like when this stuff was rolling out. Oh, no. Come on, eBay. You can do it. Yeah. 
Yeah, Posture Research is a whole listing for the best masters, all algorithms, not just the title. Type popular brands and look up the nonsense that comes up. I know. But if it just searched the dang title, which is, I think, what they're rolling back to, we would all be on a common ground again. <laughs> Can we all just speak the common language that we've established? <clears throat> Did you do it? Did we go? Come on, eBay. Nope. So this is what happens. If it doesn't finish loading, you have to go in here. I have to click. This is my favorite because you know, I love doing extra work. Yes. And if you don't wait for that picture to pop up, you won't know that your pictures are in the wrong order. And then you'll leave it like that until you go to relist it six months later. <laughs> and you're like, why isn't this sold? Ew. Oh, look at that cover photo. Oh. Okay. Somebody's like, what is that? <laughs> <coughs> but Tommy, you have to say, you have to be in all fairness that you're selling variable. <laughs> I haven't been drinking. I'm drinking coffee. You're selling very marketable items to the Poshmark crowd. Like you're selling shoes that they want. The younger people shopping on Poshmark, right? So it's not an easy transition for everybody. I can imagine. Like, if you sold car parts, I'm just being really dramatic. I'm Ray Zelensky. <laughs> I knew he was going to start. <laughs> but seriously, if you were selling, like, I mean, Plush does sell on Posh and Lie, but not as easy as it does on eBay. Right. Or if you were selling bubble wrap, I'm looking around here, or, like, vintage Disney memorabilia, it might not be as easy of a transition. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> If you buy for Poshmark, it can be like, I missed that comment. Yeah, you're right. You have to read the last message. God, I can't try to keep up. Wait, what is this? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> you have to read the last message. You mean, God. God. You're right. You're right. You're right. Fox Racing, Sasquatch. Is it really called Sasquatch? Yeah, yeah. It's like a lion of theirs. Is it an extra large? It's a small. It's a small. How can you not do that anymore? Well, something you gotta win. You can't just do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, this might be worth more than I have the price that you're looking for. I'm not sure. Okay. Because the one I copied it was this exact one, and I think it sold for for way more. Not way more. But... This is green gray. What color do you think that is? <clears throat> Don't ask Matt. He's black colorblind. And huh? Black and gray. Number forty six, forty four. Forty six, forty four. Yeah, that's true, Tommy. That's true. <clears throat> Yeah. I is that striped at all? No. <clears throat> you are not wrong. Um so I let my YouTube play this morning while I was cross listing and a couple of YouTubers that I don't really watch. I watch maybe once or twice. I saw a couple of videos and a lot of the sales were viewer sales like over half of the sales and we do get some viewer sales too. Hopefully it's stuff that people actually want. That's what I think. Shout out to Matt for that Rugrats. And um, <laughs> <laughs> so that's true from YouTube. You do have extra audience that's looking at your stuff that buys it. Cause they, I don't know. Same thing with whatnot though. Like those people have nothing in the description. Yeah. Also whatnot is stalking us right now. Yeah, they're hounding us. They're like, hey, you got approved. When's you're going to schedule your show? And we're like, bruh. 
What if I don't want to? Coming a little strong there, whatnot. <clears throat> Is this shoes local or priority? Oh, you need shoes. Bye. He's like, I love that jacket. I wore it today. I love that jacket too. I love it for you too. I thought he had mad comments too. Compliments. Man, I wore this crazy Mary Kay Olsen sweater to New York. And the first guy we encountered <laughs> at the hotel was like, Man, you look like an art project. I was like, Thank you. He was like, You belong in a museum. I was like, Oh my God. He's like, Did you make that? <laughs> no, I thrifted it. There and square. Well, Tommy, you can't accuse me of selling under market. That's for sure. He said they also sell under market to have sales to ship, which I can see that happening. Now, I mean, you bust my patooties about overpricing <laughs> stuff all day. I do. <clears throat> but we have a, a sale and a coupon and offers, so I don't care. <laughs> don't care. Don't care. Because I know introverts. See, if you're not an introvert, you don't know an introvert, right? You don't know what it feels like, and I'm an introvert. I don't want to offer nobody nothing. I just buy it. If I want it, I just buy it. I'm too nervous. I don't even want to like interact with anybody that I don't know. I don't even want them to send thank you message to me. <laughs> I want no interaction. And I'm counting on the introverts of the world to come through in my store. <laughs> the truth. That's a hot tip. <laughs> Half the world is introverted. No, no one appreciates my fashion sense in Dallas. Shame. Also, I can't wear big sweaters in Dallas. Too hot. All right. I should have been. I'm sorry. You told me to look it up. I did not look it up. Bye. $69.99 a medium is listed. Ooh, this is the one. Was it this one? Does it have different color sleeves? Yeah. That's all, yeah, that's what I was saying. The one I copied. Yeah. Sold for much more. So did you look at what it sold for? Yeah, I don't remember. It was like 120 something, right? No, it was best off of this no, I didn't actually go on this. Tara peek to look it up. Oh, I have to click on all these tabs. It makes me crazy. One oh nine. Sweet. So that means we're gonna price the baby up. Because it's oh. the season. Price your check. all about the ugly streetwear t-shirt that cost three thousand dollars tell so those people with the bins is looking for it's the same dudes every day every day we go to the bin same dudes looking for t-shirts and jerseys and then we're picking up the stuff that's worth money yep they go through the bins and get nothing because they're looking for like the one-off t-shirt and i'm like bruh excuse me while i pick up this product that's right under your nose excuse me and they don't even look at the clothes they like barrel shuffle it like Take big armfuls and they're just like, Wah! just like feeling for t shirts, I guess. I don't know how they feel for anything the way they do it. Yeah. No they're point. like T Rexes in there. <laughs> well, no, that'd be little arms. <laughs> they're big arms. In. <laughs> they're like orangutans in there. They're like, Wah! all over my head and everything. I'm like, get away. <laughs> Steve Ellum is like that. Oh, yeah. I, I've seen that. That's true. <clears throat> what are they looking for? Like, how do you find anything just like scooping, like a bulldozer? What's the one with the claw? A backhoe. A backhoe. 
Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Asian streetwear pants and they ride the lightning Metallica shirt with the holes in it. I mean, I could put holes in a Metallica shirt. I'm trying to do a Metallica shirt. I know, I put it in there to list. Oh, you don't want to keep it? I just, like, all my clothes end up in a file. Yes. That's the problem with reselling. You can, you can keep everything. Yeah. Like, what am I actually going to wear? I need to try things on. And when it's not like a perfect fit, obviously, this is not a perfect fit. And I I need to do, you know, I've been wanting to do that too. Just go through everything. Every that I have. single thing we own. Every single thing. Right. Yep. And if it, like, it doesn't fit good or whatever. Like, this out, doesn't gone. fit well Bye. either, but it's super comfortable and I love to wear it. So mm -hmm. I keep wearing I only wear the same five things. That's why we have to do laundry every week because we're out of clothes, but we're not out of clothes. But we're out of clothes. <laughs> Right. And if you look at our videos, we wear the same clothes every single week. So you can't like fault us for that. Let's, why don't we just keep those clothes? <clears throat> we just had a breakthrough. What? And then we could add in new clothes and then every maybe quarter go through it again. Okay, no. no that's not. <laughs> every year. Every Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Super Bowl Sunday. There you go. Oh. I shot my reselling closet if I need something for an event. Oh my God, you sound like me when I'm doing a show. Man, I should shop this thing for everything. My like, Dan, my guy's a 42 reg. What you got? <laughs> <laughs> and then we sell it. We can't find it. It's perfect. It's a great yeah. system. It's a great, great thing. Yep. So it happened the other day. We sold this Iggy Freeman suit on Poshmark. We could not find it. This was before we filmed, and we were like, "Oh no!" And Dan's like, "I think the lawyer wore it." <laughs> the <laughs> I'm lawyer... like, "Wait, I think I think I remember something." And I'm like, "But the lawyer only wore pants," and he's like, "No, I gave him the pants for the suit." And I was like, "Why would you do that?" <laughs> the lawyer did wear the pants, and the lawyer's pants were in the garage. The suit jacket was on top of the death pile because he had put it there to put the pants back in it, but we never got that far. Right. So that's what happens. That. Is what happened. How did somebody? Oh man! What? They punched this thing through very weirdly, like once out through the jacket and then in again through the lining. Oh lord! I, know. I think this is the one that's missing a button. But what if I just lift it anyway, right? Okay, let me look at this and see if there's any other way to like deal. I don't want to slow it down, though. Okay, then I'll put it back down. No, let me just see if we already got it down. Okay, so these buttons are special. Mm -hmm. Is there an inside button we could replace? Is this one the same? No, of course not. Ugh. I would let this death pile, and I guarantee you we'll find another one. Okay. That's like broken, and we'll take the button from it. I've seen, I haven't seen this before, but I see H&M clots a lot. And you know, once we touch something, it comes up again. <laughs> this is true. So, so true. That was an Isabel Morant H&M collab coat. It was actually really good. Yep. But it's missing a button, and it's a key coat. So yeah. you can't really have a button missing. No. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Where's the other? This thing. This thing was good. Once not found vintage honey hooker that sold in less than a week in a bin that was completely dug through, but then they pushed me or my dad out of the way when the new bins were up. Yeah, exactly. Dan only shops in the bins that are. I I get into the new bins. I get it. I like dig in there under those guys. I don't care. And I do care about talking to people, but I don't care if I have a mask on and they don't know who I am. I do not care. Although we have been recognized as the bins the last times we have gone, <laughs> it's embarrassing. But anyway, Dan just stays to his cell. He finds good stuff. He found that Levi's and a picked over bin and the fox. Yep. So, I don't know. I just think the dudes that stay there are there looking for completely different things. So I don't get mad if I'm not to the bin first. I'm like, whatever you want, I don't want. Yep. I can guarantee you that. I don't want a vintage t-shirt. I don't even know how to list it. Like, I do not want it. 
I got that one Kurt Cobain shirt because I knew Kurt had worn it, but it has a different logo on it. So I still don't know how to list it and it's just hanging there because I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Wait, Matt might want that shirt. Let me see that. I'm going to send that to Matt. To what size is it? Matt, do you want this Kurt Cobain shirt? It has a different quote on it, though. It's, a, so it's not Kurt Cobain. It's a 2XL. It's a 2XL, but you can wear it. Yeah, sure. That's Matt. He wants that shirt. I'm going to send it to you for free. Because I don't know what to do with it. What does it say? I heard the future violence, oh, violence records before everyone else. It's just like a punk rock shirt. Frank's not dead shirt though. And Kurt Cobain used to wear Frank's not dead shirts. Yeah. And so I was like, this is Kurt Cobain's shirt. He does want it, but if I'm not. <laughs> and I said it was Kurt Cobain's shirt. We have to get this. And the vintage dudes didn't get it. And then when I got home and Googled Frank, Frank's not dead, Kurt Cobain, it is his shirt, but it had a different quote. So whatever. So it's not worth much. But it's cool shirt. Cool shirt. I'll send you vintage Krillin if I ever find it. I don't really find vintage shirts. I'm telling you, there are people camped out at our bins for all day. They one the day our power was out, we were there from like nine a.m. until what five? Something. And they were all still there. It closes at five. No, we were there till four. It closed at five, and they were all still there. I think they stay from eight to five every day. <clears throat> and then maybe they list like one or two things a day, I guess, because. When would you have time to list? Yeah. Right. Unless you're like the dude from Texas who he'll be doing whatnots from the Houston bins. Yeah. Who doesn't even own the items? It's kind of genius, okay? Right. Kind of genius. But our bins would never let us do that. First oh. of all, we have no signal. We could yeah. never stream from our bins. Second of all, they would tackle us. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't that kind of place. Not that, sir, sir. There's no film, sir. What up, Melissa? <laughs> There's no filming. All right. Whoa. Matt said, I'll pay however much you paid plus shipping. <laughs> you know the shipping rates went up. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker. No, I'm going to send it to you. Flip the world, Chris. Is that what his name is? I don't. Does he have a YouTube? I just think he has a, um Instagram. That's where I know him from. It's just so funny that he doesn't own the item. So if they don't sell, he just throws it back into the bin. To be fair, I've never watched his whatnot. I've just seen Instagram, his stories of him doing that. But I'm guessing if he doesn't sell them, he just throws it right back into the bin, which is borderline genius. <laughs> oh, this is a big boy, LL Bean. <clears throat> LL. I'm gonna have to get all the all the larger boxes. <clears throat> you know, use a um here. The number on the ticket. Take the sticker with the back. Okay. You don't get confused. You can use the code. You know what I'm yeah. Or you can just send that to the box, like we used to do. It's all good. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. It doesn't get lost because it will. Lost. <clears throat> Okay. I'm talking about clowns. Wait for it. Is anybody afraid of clowns? You need to shield yourself. I have to show you this. <laughs> you hand it to me? Yeah. And then make my screen big. <clears throat> oh, I don't know about that. I don't want to I don't want to be involved with anybody racist. <clears throat> I don't know the guy from a hole in the wall. I just know he's on Instagram. All right. If you're scared of clowns, shield your face right now. I give you fair warning. Shield shield it. Yo, look, I found this at the bins. I had to get it. It's a little box, right? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this thing! How did no one pick this up? Anyway. I don't know. Big money right here. Hey, Tracy. Okay. Melissa sold two things on eBay this week. Come on. <clears throat> you listen over there consistently? Who's Mrs. Murphy? I don't even understand what, what is happening here. Oh, Mrs. Murphy is speaking for a living. Don't listen to Tommy until he says until he goes live again. <clears throat> She's mad. And Tracy too. Tracy's on here. Can you get this away from me? I'm allergic to it actually. <laughs> Tracy! How's your foot? Kristen, 
Okay, whose live just ended? Because everyone's rolling in right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not mad about it. Everybody's rolling. It's in. cool. We we know how it is. It's fine. Yeah, you gotta split your time. Cool. But somebody's live just ended because Kristen <laughs> rolled in. Mrs. Murphy just rolled in. Tracy came in. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa just came in. I love it. All right, we're listening to LL Bean Beans. LL Beans. I never know whether to put the dots. You know. Yeah. Size extra, extra large, tall. Love it. Is this extra, extra large, tall? I, well, it wasn't. No, it's XXL. Oh, really? maybe, maybe that was just when I copied. We'll check. Hello, beans. I love it. Is it weird to have one sleeve up like that so you can see the front Yeah, it's cool. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me you better leave her alone. I'm it's asking a, about her foot. Extra, extra large, regular. Regular. Turns out my spine was causing all the madness, so I'm under some serious chiropractic care. Oh, I need to go to the chiropractor so bad. Oh, man. You have a good one? <clears throat> we have this guy who, like, throws us around. He's really good, though. I'm a chiropractor convert. You know, I don't, some people don't like it, but I love it. This guy's, like, really, really aggressive. And he's got like an elephant memory. Like he, like there was one time where we didn't go to see him for like over a year and a half or like two years, and he knew immediately who I was and what I did. Are you sure it wasn't in the notes or something? Pretty sure. Like no, because he was asking me about like like drums and like music and stuff. Was, yeah. Okay, what's the number of this? <clears throat> Forty-six, forty-five. Regular. Okay, here's the deal. I usually put my store in vacation mode when I'm out of town. Sales are usually at. This time, it ended all of my listings and said, bad idea? Predictions? What? Kristen, you ended them all? Interesting. And you're going to relist them all when you come back? Are you going to relist them or what? I mean, so similar? What, uh, what, how many <laughs> listings did you have? What up, jackass? I love this. Do you have a real name that I can use? Because <laughs> a lot of people on here are going to think I'm talking to them, okay? Seriously. True statement. True statement. <clears throat> no, don't talk to me about these YouTube. We've already talked about this, Tommy. We both watched these chiropractic YouTube videos with the guy with the neck. <clears throat> Man, the neck ones are so good. I want to go to them so bad. And I'm sorry, but how do these people get hour-long chiropractic visits? I would kill for that. <clears throat> Instead, our chiropractic is 2.5 minutes. <laughs> Seriously. And they're like, you're done. And I'm like, mm hmm. But I wanted the one with the YouTube. They get hour-long ones. <clears throat> I think, Kristen, I don't know what I think. I'm interested to know what happens. I mm, can't imagine. It's a hundred dollars cheaper if you let them record it. Is it for an hour though? Dr. Gregory Johnson in Houston as well. <laughs> oh, oh, is there one in Dallas, Tommy? <laughs> <laughs> I went the hour long. My God, oh, I would feel so much better. I had a back spasm on the airplane. Thank you very much. It was not fun. Five hundred and thirty one listings ended. Do you think it'll screw stuff up or make it better? Um <clears throat> well, you can't sell anything while you're gone, which is a bummer. But having fresh listings is good. Um I don't know. Tommy's going to ask here. Jack Harlow just went to Gregory Johnson, it was fun to watch. Normally when we do anything big like that or like go on vacation, like we went on vacation for like a month in 2019. Thank God it was before COVID. And um, it took a good two weeks to get back into the groove for sure. She was local on this? Yeah. Tubio is in Sugarland, Texas, wherever that is. So. Also, I sent a crap ton of shoes to that town. Sugarland. It's, uh, it's outside of Houston. 
Oh, is it a university town or something? Uh, I don't know. It might be. I know there's a band called Sugar Land. It's right here in Houston. Okay. <laughs> Matt just got I have a message on McCarty. Are these shoes good for standing? <laughs> no. He's like, I hope so. They're shoes. <laughs> <laughs> We've gotten some weird messages today too. I'm like, okay. Are you wait, I'm sorry, Tracy. You've got to be messing with me. Sugar Land near Pearland. Yeah. Literally, is it, is what? It Pearland also. Near Sugar Land. Yes. Is there like a Tater Tot Land too? Probably. What is this? Do they grow pears in Pearland? No. Well, why is it called Pearland? Don't. I I don't know. I really don't have an idea. No, it's probably a trading post where they had pears. <clears throat> <laughs> Mercury must have drank that Gatorade. <laughs> Melissa said I had someone ask if my camo pants were quiet. I told them I haven't heard a peep. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, that's really freaking scary if someone wants quiet camo pants. <laughs> like, what are you trying? They're trying to like sneak up on us? trying to. Sounds a little serial to me. They, they creep on everybody. Yeah. Been... They grow pears. Leave them alone. <laughs> Pearland. It's so <laughs> Texas is so weird. <laughs> what do you know? Got sugar here. Let's just, this is sugar land. Sounds yeah. great. Throw some pears there. Pearland. What about peach land? Boom. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Exactly. Tommy said, are they good for silent murders by chance? <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm thinking they're asking. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Dang. I'm very happy to get all these coats listed. I think prioritizing stuff for this season is a good strategy. Sure. Mr. Mosley. We watched the Down Abbey movie on the plane. Right. I. I mean, there's Rome in Paris, Texas. Of course, there would be a Pearland. <laughs> True. Is it called? It's not like per. I can't like say it like in one level. Pearland is literally how you say it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right then. How else would you say it? I don't know. You know how like in England everything's like one syllable and it looks like it's like ten on the page. Well, yeah, that's true. Like Worcester is like. <laughs> <laughs> Liz Clues and Movie is coming out soon. Oh, gotta stock up. Oh, yeah, this is a Made in the Usa L. L. Bean. I think I might have it under price. Not actually sure. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just sell it off, huh? <laughs> oh, no, my heart can't take it. Oh. <laughs> Melissa, you missed our vintage Levi's we listed. Could you use your help? Sherpa. Also, Almost Famous on Broadway is starting previews tonight. Yeah. So get your Penny Lane codes listed and list them high. Even though it's just Broadway, it, the trend will catch on in New York, and then New York people will buy it. For sure, get those Penny Lane codes listed. We have one listed. But if I find more, I'm going to scoop them. Scoop it. You know me, it could start at 120. I know. I've been marking mine up, but I'm not I'm not sure about this one. I should look it up, huh? 
I did make this draft. <clears throat> and it is extra, extra large. I'm going to take your advice. Yes, the show is almost famous based on the Cam Cameron Crowe movie. <laughs> Excuse me, darling, <laughs> but I attempt to talk. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they turned it into a musical. <laughs> you probably sounded like Sybil on Pulpy Towers. No, I sounded like Lady Mary on Downton Abbey. Yeah. She was making the, the talkie. The talkie. <laughs> stop it. You stop it right now. Uh, yes, we did see Hamilton at Fair Park. And it was a great show. Loved it. And it was a good show. Oh, Melissa wants to see your uh, your jean jacket. Okay. It is this guy, right? Right, y'all. Yeah, it tumbles. White Levi's with the Sherpa and oh, that that tag right there. Okay. Right there. I lifted it for two hundred. It was so good. We loved it so much. The first time I saw Hamilton, it was in previews at the public, so it wasn't even on Broadway yet. And it came a long way. It was way better. Noise. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of thrashed. Dan was like, should we clean it? I was like, nah. Mildly thrashed. That's what I put. Mildly thrashed. <laughs> Ross Child, size 10 to 12, red girls. Wait, girl, size 10 to 12. This coat is so cute. Me link. Holiday. Bam. What number? 4646. I sold the nastiest, thrashiest car rides this week. We're about to... Oh, um, man. We got a good one of those. We're about out. to list it today. It's like a uh, coveralls. It is nasty. In the best way. <laughs> is this ground 15 or shoes local? This guy? Yeah. Shoes. Thrashed is still a trend. Yes. Love that. All right, I'm really trying to be better with theme here. Holiday. Winter. This is kind of like England. England. It's that little girl that wears it. Madeline. <laughs> there we go. Getting it. <laughs> um, fancy. Thrashed. Melissa, are you promoting heavily on eBay? Ruth, hi! Hello. So good to see you. How are you doing? Are you feeling better? How's family? Give us all the updates. We need them. Pokemon guy is going to pay for it in the morning. Okay. Nah, like 3%. Oh, no. What do you mean? What's like 3%? <clears throat> oh, wait. Well, Melissa's not promoting. Ruth. Wait. <laughs> Sorry. I thought Ruth was saying she was feeling 3%. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Melissa. You got to go more than 3%. Your stuff's at the bottom of search. That's why you're not selling anything. Because you have good stuff. This is not an issue of you having good stuff. I know Melissa's inventory, everybody. 
um, you got to promote like I would say like a five or six percent. But once you add it all together, it's the same as Poshmark. Think about it that way. 13% plus like you can go up to 7% and that's still 20%. So you could promote all the way up to 7% and still pay the same fees as Poshmark. I would do it. Do it. Come on. Do it. Come on, do it. I'm telling you, did you see our video where we compared? I don't know when it was. I can't guide you to it. But we compared the promotions before and after heavily promoting. Things went up like a million percent. That's that. <laughs> she said, I feel. <laughs> I only have my weird stuff on eBay. Why? By 48 minutes. Why? Crosslist those things over. Melissa, worldwide audience. Come on. I'm here out of love. Push you. Your son went to a specialist. I'm going to another specialist. Testing for iron. Okay, okay. Sounds like he's getting good care, though. I know I have ADHD, too. But give yourself a little goal, like 5 in the morning, 5 in the afternoon, and 5 at night. Then you have 15 a day over there. Come on. Hey, Angela. Oh, your husband's on the 18th having a biopsy. Oh, man. Laparoscopic or something? Is that how you do that? I don't even know. <clears throat> you can do it, Melissa. You can do it. Yeah, posh sales are booming. Yeah, posh is better right now. But I'm telling you. telling you. trying to tell you. If they're booming over there, they'd be quadruple booming on eBay. Ugh. Oh my god, this thing is huge. It's insane. Okay. I, I, I don't know what size it is. It's a little fun. It's faded. Faded away. Do a little research. Compare it, you know? Yep. No, no, it's very large. Here's our thrashed coveralls. They are thrashity thrashed. Thrash. This is cool. Is there a zipper too? Mm -hmm. mm. <sighs> I need you like a reselling sister wife. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got you, girl. I got you. I'm just here to like push you, you know, like gently because I know I was you for two years and you're approaching your two year mark on posh, right? So like, let's, let's, let's go. We didn't start making money until we did eBay. We thought posh shows were booming, right? We didn't start making real money that we could live off of until we added eBay. But you couldn't have told me otherwise. You're at least receptive and you're trying. <laughs> you could not have told me. I would have fought you. I would have punched you. But then, like, no, that's a waste of time. It's so hard. <laughs> Scammers. <laughs> Shipping. <laughs> Shipping, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. This is why I come from a place of knowing. And then once we started making real money, I was like, yeah, more, 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 more. <laughs> We need at least 50 a day. Oh. And now I have to remind myself to cross list the posh. I know you're trying. I didn't say you were trying. I said, I, I acknowledge it. You're trying. I get it. Yes. The test sends for medals, but the neurologist they are sending him to is supposed to be the best of the best. Oh, thank goodness. That's great.
That's a really good price, Angela. We got 20 jackets, coats, and military flight suit today. Added a few vintage shirts. Cost of goods, four twenty-five. dollars Sweet. Yeah, that's great. Man, this thing is gnarly. Okay, Carhartt. There, it, we've got to be able to get more than 100 for this. Yeah, it looks super gnarly in the photos, too. Just saying. It really brings out the... <laughs> it brings out the thrash. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's got it's got paint on it. <laughs> but these other ones are selling so low. It's weird, right? Yeah, like 70, 59. Melissa, what would you list these coveralls for? They're thrash, more than these in the pictures, like way thrashed. Like we're like we usually throw the term around and we're like, ha ha ha. No, this is actually thrash. For like for real. The bibs are 110 brand. This is a bib? What's a bib? This isn't a bib. No, it's a coverall. It's, it's a coverall. Like but don't you pay more for like the work? <laughs> oh, these are the bibs. No, these aren't a bibs. These are coveralls. It's not a bib. 75, that's it. God. Look at the style code and where they were made. They were made in the USA. Here's my listing so far. Made in the U USA's. I've got to get in there to get to the style code. It's got the red, you know, insulated lining. Red insole bright. <laughs> <clears throat> it's basically these. These only sold for $64.99, but they're not thrash. I guess it really doesn't matter. They have this like overall. Yeah, but these these have sleeves. This is sleeves. Uh style code. I don't know if we'll be able to. It's all right. I'll just do 75 or 90, 99. Good. Hope to get 70. Is it 996Q? I, I, I mean, the tag is so faded. All right, it's fine. So wait, wait, size. Is it coming through? Large? It looks bigger than large. Well, I mean, you got to put your whole body and clothes into it, right? Yeah. Well, I'll look at somebody else's and see if they have the size okay so it comes in like numbers it looks like 38 to 40 58 40 short yeah they come in numbers okay okay 46 reg cool so it should be relatively easy to figure out once i measure it well also i can just look and see if these have any measurements hey Rhonda. Temperature is not quite cover all temps. Maybe they sell for higher once it gets colder. You're a genius. I didn't even think about that. I always talk about it, but I didn't think about it. You're right. Thank you. So nobody does measurements except like us. <laughs> what is that? What's that about? Please compare measurements with the item. Well, where's the measurement? In the photos. Brand new, those are $199. Right, but you can't get them thrashed brand new. It would take years of abuse to get them to this point. That, that's worth that's worth money. Okay, so the one I'm sure this is a union tag. Yeah. Where's the measurement? Yeah, union. Union made. This dude takes measurements like you do. Well, oh, God. Really this might be a long. No, I appreciate you, Melissa. And they are sold out online. They're not the USA ones. We're going to go high. I just got to figure out what size they are. Just 
Grace, I'm at 225. I like where your head's at. I think these are a size 50. Size 50? No, 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 no. That doesn't make sense. They measure 48, so it's 46. No one is putting in measurements. Well, okay. I know, but they're coveralls, so they might be oversized. That's also true. I know, so I'm trying to find, like, something with a measurement. Oh, wait, Melissa, will you look up and see if there's a measurement on the site you're looking on? I'm thinking of listening Well, <laughs> oh, she was already on the site. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm going to go with this. There's a size chart. That's not like, but these are like vintage ones, so it might not be the same. Size is worn off, but it looks like it could be a. That's what I'm about to put. What do you think it is? Forty six. <clears throat> Chest size. 48? Mm -hmm. Boom! Found one. Oh my gosh, Tommy and I are talking about the same thing at the same time. <laughs> Alright, if this one's a tall, it says. 46 tall, and the inseam is. It's a 31, so I wouldn't call it one thing that's tall. Okay. Or. I don't think but it does have like a 15 inch rise. So from here to. All right, let me waist. look at this dude's uh, tiny picture. This one. So this one is called a tall and it's the 30. It's 30 in seam. So yeah, this is tall. Why would it be a tall one? I guess because of your boots. And the, the chest measure here, come look. <clears throat> so the chest measurement on his is 24. Is that what yep. yours measure? Yep. Like that, 21? Similar? Yep, 21. Yep. You get the size tag. That's a perfect picture. It's good to tag you. <laughs> I was trying to, yeah, 46 tall. Boom, we did it. Cool. It's created with pride in the USA. I don't know if that's a union tag or not. Don't, I guess it doesn't matter because me and USA is good enough. 46 tall. So this is a true comp. It's over 53.97 in September 29th. But as Rhonda pointed out, uh, it's not the season yet. I don't know if that was a union tag. All of our tags are faded to dust. Did it look like what I just showed you? It did. So I don't think that's a union tag. Okay. Because it would say, right? It doesn't say Union of America. It just, it, uh, I can't read it. So what does it say? Just probably made in the USA? Yeah. No. Oh. So I'm actually just going to copy this thing, because why wouldn't I? <clears throat> What's the number? 4647. So they listed under regular. Should I list them under big and tall? Since they are in fact tall. Sure. Please don't get rid of all these specifics. Oh, no. Didn't. You guys are such a big help. Thank you so much. Good pre-owned condition with a lot of work wear thrashed. Still structurally sound, all zippers and snaps work, um, but signs of wear, age, and oil. <laughs> all of it, yeah. Oil slash paint are <coughs> present. Please see photos. Very unique piece. 
is. Oh, sorry, Melissa, I just saw your thing. I don't know what the hip is. I'll get it for you in a sec. The who? I have like such a reflex to put the, the hip. I mean, do you some of the hips? And hips don't lie. It's, it's fine. You're gonna make me unroll it? No. Um. Um. Organically distressed. No worries. <laughs> Hi, Fitty. She's local. Six QZ. Destroyed with care. Oh my god, I'm gonna write it. <laughs> well, we don't have the hood. It's a snap on hood. Is there? Oh, that comes with snap on hood. Oh, I guess right there. Yeah. Nope, we don't have that. Okay. <laughs> it's all good. Let's this thing the two hunch. That's crazy. That is crazy. That is crazy town. Let's see what happens. I think I'm going to cross this over to Posh. It might be better over there. I think my D pop got shut down because I didn't check on it. <laughs> it is 9 30 I'm bringing coffee. Deer season just started this week. Get all your camo listed. You know, I might have some camo in the garage. That's that's a fair play. Do you need a certain color of camo to hunt for deer? Woodland. Which is green. I, think, I mean, I have like army camo. Is that different? Not really. I mean, yes, kind, yeah, kind of, but it. I mean, it's not like it doesn't really matter. Okay. I do have digital, but I, I wouldn't with that for hunting, right? You know? Did, what kind? Digital. No. I mean, for hunting, you more popular stuff would be like real tree or mossy oak. Those are a couple of the brands. Stuff that looks like vegetation. <laughs> <laughs> Probably doesn't really matter though. Oh, okay. I don't think a deer is going to be able to tell. Uh... Interesting. All right, are we still shoot low blind meat? I don't need to do brown. I think we might need to. Yeah, we might need to up it. Okay. Pretty, pretty big boy. <laughs> if a movie production company comes here and buys them. Oh, that'd be great. I know. Oh, wait, what time did I say I was going to write it in here? Destroyed with care. <laughs> I'm doing it. Do it. Only a bit of the women's camo. You can get it at the bins. It flips. If you can get it at the bins, it flips up. Really? Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I do have women's camo out there. Actually, it might be men's. It's small. I know the difference. I mean, I dress a girl as an army, so I, I know I have her costume. Hmm. But I think it was men's or unisex or something. You yeah. Know? All right, how many did we get done? We did hard things. We did. Getting the rack clear. Because that big stuff really 
up so much space. It does. Alright, we're gonna go over to the Vendu. Nine? Not two shabs. Oh my gosh, Ruth, you would love it. It is so fun. Hey, Mark. You're always looking for camo. Do you have a military surplus near you? May look for it, because we definitely do in Dallas. There's a bunch of military surpluses here. Army, Navy stores. Yeah, yeah they're called everything. Military surplus is like a generic term. Or Army, Navy store, yeah. And we have one thrift store that is like... I think you're always stocked full of stupid camo. Stupid amounts of camo. Uniforms, yeah. Should we go there? <laughs> I'm like... But nothing else is good in that store. But it is kind of priced up. It is. I, th I would think it would be better at the bins. Yeah. We get some at the bins. Oh. <laughs> Mark had jokes. Can you... You can put it on time. He said it was a joke. Oh my god, I miss your dad joke. <laughs> I can't, I can't. <laughs> are you laughing? I can hear you from Oklahoma. That's funny. Yeah, probably a good idea to go check it out. Yeah. I think that's a really interesting, the niche markets that, like, Melissa, who's on here, Melissa Osborne, she sells a lot of, um, like, hunting, like, niche markets, things that people wouldn't think about, because you're always, like, looking for a knee fisher or, like, whatever you're looking for, right? On clouds, you're looking for, like, a certain brand or something. And she's at the bins, like, oh, no, this is a need. Hunters need this, you know what I mean? That's how her brain works. I think that's really good. It's good to keep that in mind, this kind of a thing. Also, she's part of the high price club with me. If people want something bad enough, they'll pay for it. That's true. Oh, I'm trying to change the reseller mindset on that. Because I think there's, you know, if it's a really unique piece, people will pay for it. Like, for example, that coat from, like, a boutique brand that we listed for 150 You can get it on. <clears throat> they had two runs of it on the website. Just a little research. Two runs of it on the website. Sold it for one fifteen on the website, but they can't get it anymore. There's not a third run, and there are people who still want that coat. So the price of one fifty <laughs> <laughs> probably would have gone higher. You know what I mean? Somebody wants that coat. What? <laughs> are you kidding me, Tracy? She got kicked out of a military surplus because of how she folded a shirt. That's ridiculous. Wow. That is nuts. <laughs> so we just like went through all these bags of bin stuff today and it was like almost 200 items. Yeah. And all I can say is I want to go back. <laughs> I really want to go back to the bins. What's wrong with <sighs> me? Megan Cross was 10. Nice. Nice. Would, you, would everybody get done? We're about to. Wait, how does. How does... I've been working in this office all day. How does Melissa Osborne not have a. Not have a wrench. Does she need a wrench? Does somebody need wrenching? We always need a couple of wrenches. I don't even know where you get a wrench. Megan's pretty good with the wrench. <laughs> Tracy's now just getting caught up. <laughs> <laughs> Ruth's getting 10 done. She's powerlifting. Nice. I love it. Matt's on his fifth. There you go. Re wrench. A wrench. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, you guys. I'm really, really happy. I think fourth quarter is going to be great for us. Collectively, all of us. We just got to keep listing. Like, if I could get to 20 a day, I think I would be very happy. Yeah. I'm trying to set up the systems to have that in place so that we can do it. But I did have to work all day at it. But, like... 
okay, think about it this way. If I only had 20 items to process for the day, it's these hauls. If we didn't have to haul things, I could just do 20 a day. Yeah. And then have those ready to go. But I'm we're hauling things and I have to look for screenshots. And, does anyone care about a Benzol? Should we just like not? People love Benzols. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. I get good things with the thing. We've got some serious bangers. So I, do, I wouldn't want to not show you. That's true. But I'll still show you when they sell. Right? Right. I mean, it's a reverse haul. Isn't a what sold a reverse haul? Should we stop saying what sold? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. It's all in how you look at things. Mm -hmm. Think outside of the box. Okay, so guys, I sent offers to Likers on Poshmark this weekend for 20% and got three sales. 204 are still listed. Am I in trouble? Hmm? What you, what you, what you mean? Send offers all day, every day. Yep. Good advice. I don't know what your question means. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. You can. You have to drop it 10% below your lowest offer that you've sent in the last, like, 30 days or 60 days, 90 days. I don't know what it is. Oh, I see what he's saying. He's like, I still have 204 things listed. Like, only only three things sold. Yeah. He's asking if he has bad stuff. Oh, you're asking if you have bad stuff? Or if you can send an offer again? No. He said, he said if people don't want what I have at 20%, is it bad merchandise or bad price? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. No, no, no. Wait, wait. So, if you have a question about bad merchandise, you have to go look at comps. Not on Poshmark. You have to look at them on eBay. And look at Terapeak. If you can get Terapeak if you have a store. Because that's the year. So, you want to make sure that people are buying... If there are solds, then it's not bad, right? Because right. people are buying. If you have an inkling, I would look it up. But the fact that no one bought anything at twenty percent off is not shocking to me. Right. People on Poshmark want like fifty percent off. If it's just for like something they're browsing. Uh, I've sent out offers on our entire closet, which is like two thousand things, and gotten nothing. Many times. It's like. Poshmark for me is either like basement bar what do you say bargain basement or people buy at full price. Yeah. There's really nothing in between. And our bot sends out offers at twenty percent off every single time someone likes something. We there I mean, I don't know. We got eight sales over the weekend. But that was like shocking. And we don't list bad stuff. So yeah. We still have some bad stuff in Poshmark. From when we first started reselling. But we don't list stuff if there are no souls. Ever. I mean, with a few exceptions. Mm -hmm. Like, if there are no listeds and no souls, like, if it's a one-off, we'll still list it. But, like, if the market is saturated and nothing is selling, no way. It goes right back to the goodwill. Yeah. And, yeah, 20% is what is our standard offer. As soon as somebody likes it, the bot sends an automatic 20% off deal. Yeah. And that's, that's where we have to start. So. And sometimes people on Poshmark like like your items so that they can make their own listing from it, like because there's no sell similar. I guess there is now. But they might just like it because they're trying to add a likes list to give to their partner for Christmas or something like that. Like There's a lot of different reasons people like things, not just because they're waiting for you to discount it to buy it. True. Also true. Yep. There are tons of people, Mark, if you want to share your Posh Closet, tons of people in this chat that will look at your store. Man, just ask JV. He like combs our store. <laughs> he like, tells us when there's typos. It's great. I'm like, oh my god, JV found another typo. Yep. So if you want to share, feel free, or in our Facebook group, feel free. People will go through it for you. And we've got some really, really experienced sellers in our Facebook group on Poshmark, particularly. There's some really. We are not the most experienced on Poshmark. Like Melissa Osborne's way more experienced. Um, about specifically in the last two years, like what's selling on Posh. So why don't you put it in the Facebook group and we'll yep. review it for you. We're happy to do that. Absolutely. Yeah, there, exactly. Tommy said there are tons of variables. 
But 20% off, I think that most like seasoned shoppers know that 20% off is going to come after they like an item because most people have bots that do that. <laughs> I mean, really, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or at least an offer. I guess if you have a high demand item like on clouds, you, you don't need to send 20%. But you probably send something, right? Tell me like 10. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, he's going to say no. He doesn't no, send I think he probably, <laughs> probably sends an offer. We're going we're gonna to wager here. 10, yep. Oh, you get comments quicker than I do. No, no, it sounds better when you say my boy. <laughs> <laughs> but your items are much more in demand on Poshmark than ours. So in order to combat that, we do 20. And if I'm feeling real feisty, we'll do 30. Or I'll drop for offers to likers on a Friday and try to get sales that way. It never works. Ever. But maybe with the algorithm. I dropped my first offer to 10% and my sales have been way higher. Hmm. Is it like reverse psychology, you think? People think it's worth more? That's very interesting. Hmm. What was it used to be? Sorry, I can't speak. Well, so did you have it at 20? Yeah, I think everyone does that on Poshmark. I don't think there's a problem with that. Interesting conversation, though. I'm, I'm ready to experiment as well. Mm -hmm. I would do 20 to 30. Yeah, it feels aggressive, right? Like you're trying to give it away, maybe? I think you might, you might be onto something here. I mean, there's this guy in our closet right now that really wants his Pendleton shirt. Like, <laughs> we're not having real it. Real bad, yeah. And, um, and I think he really wants it because we won't drop the price. So he thinks it's really, really good. Mm -hmm. It is really good. 10% first. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll give it a shot. Why not? Desperation doesn't sell. That's true. Oh, that needs to be on a coffee mug somewhere. Fifteen percent standard, but negotiate as needed, same as what you guys have said. If they want it bad enough they will buy it. Yeah. A lot of times people will like something and then put it in a bundle, take it out of a bundle, and then they'll come back like months later. And I will look and they have it in the bundle from May. And then they'll buy it. So it's like they kind of like rack up all these little shopping carts because you can go to my bundles and Poshmark and look at all your little shopping carts and then buy when you have the money or if you get a gift card or whatever. Right. Poshmark's younger like that, you know? eBay, you just buy it and you don't have to pay. True. <laughs> yeah, but they also changed the algorithm, Melissa. Have a good night. I wonder if it's correlated. Yeah, we got to go there too. They changed the algorithm back to, like, normal. I have a lady who's loving me. I'm going to get some junk cards. <laughs> I know she wants it. Just be patient. She'll buy it. Sometimes that happens when somebody else buys it. And they're like, what happened to it? Are you going to relist it? And I'm like, no. I bought it. No, I was saying goodnight to Melissa. <laughs> I know, but he can see it in your face, probably. He's reading your face. I'm just reading the comments. It's 14 past pumpkin. <laughs> I would say up all night just gabbing with my coffee. Seriously, till like 4 o'clock in the morning. I don't have a bedtime. It's horrible. I think it's genetic. I've always been like that. Went back to the original also just before they sold out. Yeah, there is something a little weird there. A little weird that they didn't announce at a posh fest. The day before, right? When they could have, and so they announced an algorithm change back to SEO. Yeah, I agree. Weird. I feel you. All right, we're going to bed. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.